see how to create a see how to create a cost element uh, even as i told you the cost element cost uh, center creation and all in real time it will be taken care by ceo consultant hmm? if you see that fic were right finance and controlling uh, ceo consultant will take care about the cost center creation and everything okay uh, who is creating the cost center and whatever it is you are doing that hmm? when you take this cost element uh, the cost element also will be created by uh, that FICO consultant so who is responsible for that activities and all. They will create uh, which cost which GL account can be created as a cost element. Okay. These things and all they will okay. decide it. Now if you see this uh, before creating the cost center and all as a totally controlling area which comes under the configuration. Means when you see this uh, configuration SPRO in enterprise structure under definition okay under controlling we will have a maintain controlling area okay here we will create uh, one company code as a one controlling area hmm. generally we follow the same method uh, that respect to FICO consultant will create uh, which controlling area we are creating okay for example for your controlling area here controlling area same as company code uh, what kind of accounting they want, right? whether they want the cross company code accounting or uh, same company uh, controlling area as a company code, uh, what exactly the requirement according to that uh, they will create the, this activity. Okay. Once the controlling area is created here, what are things we can control, what is the currency Okay. and the, what the financial variant. The financial variant will decide whether uh, your financial year is January to December or uh, April to March okay that kind of in India it is April to March right uh, in US UK everything uh, it is a uh, January to December okay, these things and all we can decide it this is a controlling area and this controlling area has to be assigned to company code huh? these things and all we need to do in the configuration see if you go to the assignment controlling area see assign company code to controlling area you have to assign uh, your company code with your controlling area. GKCC is my controlling area. I need to assign to the company code, which is my company code. But this is configuration. Coming to cost center, the cost center uh, is a, a cost object which you are assigning when you are creating the purchase order for any consumption materials or any service kind of materials, service activities and also when you issue the goods to the cost center in 201 moment type in inventory management and also we'll give this uh, cost center what is this if you see this uh, cost center creation we can create any kind of uh, things like jk mm. test one something uh, from which date to which date it is valid we need to give that okay here we can see that uh, controlling area is uh, given what we have given here a name we can create like uh, test cost center and responsible we can give who is the person here we will have a cost center categories okay. what kind of cost center it is is it a production or administration management what kind of cost center category we need to give and this hierarchy areas we need to create before that uh, what are the different hierarchies of that standard hierarchy and uh, if you click on F1 here Okay, we can see we can come to know like what is hierarchy. The, the, as I told you, uh, the completely it's a CO structure, CO related activity. The controlling can, uh, consultant will do this uh, cost center grouping, hierarchies, everything he will create and he will give you the list of cost centers according to the business requirement. Hmm? And uh, we, here we give our company code currency, which is our company code, the same currency we will mention here. And also if you have a profit center uh, mapping in your company, uh, then you have to assign the profit center also. Okay. The running all controlling okay. data. These are completely uh, for IDA system. You have to perform a service uh, procurement and also you have to perform what you call uh, goods issue for cost center and all. We need to create respective cost centers. But in real time, the cost centers will be created by CEO consultant as per the business requirement not like something he can create on his own okay these are the things we do that and coming to uh, cost element g cost element itself is gl account okay each gl account we need to create as a cost element if the business is required the same thing 
okay if they want to create uh, gl as a cost element then we need to create it what is that see the items in chart of accounts that are relevant to cost which are relevant to cost those are referred as a cost elements they are used for entering all costs within the entire cost accounting system the cost elements are required to ensure comprehensive reporting and detailed planning the gl accounts which are they treat as a cost okay and uh, that kind of things once they decide as a cost element then we need to create the gl account as a cost element even i can show you one more point here see when you take any gl account here you can see an option called edit cost element okay yeah. if you create here system will take to this whether if you want to create a gl account as a cost element we can create from there also Okay. Once you click on edit cost element, system will take you to K01 transaction code. Here you need to give that one. What is the cost element category? Whether it is a revenue account, sales deduction account, or primary cost? What kind of cost? If you are treating uh, the respect to activity, means whenever the GL account uh, hits to that respective thing, then uh, what kind of cost it is? Whether it is a revenue cost or sales deduction cost, what kind of cost? they will assign that fi people will assign that hmm? it's completely like fi co gl account is fi cost element cost uh, cost center is a gl uh, is a co it's like a completely interlinked hmm? Hmm. here we can see the two kind of accounts right one is a profit and loss statement account and balance sheet account hmm? yeah. uh, they will uh, decide like which is a profit and loss account or uh, balance sheet account different different uh, accounts will be available which is the profit and loss statement account will be coming under otherwise which is coming under the balance sheet account and all we don't have to too much uh, concentrate on that area but at least we should understand what is gl what is cost element how does it work hmm? these things see here account is a balance sheet account means indicates that gl account is managed as a balance sheet account you must enter all balance sheet account is in the field means balance sheet uh, we have right every month end or year end uh, fi will see this uh, all balance sheet account and all there we can see like um, balance sheet okay then uh, we we uh, that fi consultant will decide uh, whether we respect to gl account is a balance sheet account or uh, pnl account account that we will check he will give the type of account 